Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be testing our little buddy over here that we're currently strangling and no doubt is dead. But we're going to be testing the Black Salamander, specifically at Barrows. Now I don't know about you guys, but when I was a noob, Black Salamander was the go-to when I had no money. And it was actually pretty good if I remember correctly, but I've not used it in a long time. Now we're going to do this fair, we're going to test it against the Trident of the Swamp with a Mage's Book. Black Salamander's 200 so you can't wield a shield, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a max mage run with a trident and then we're going to do a max mage run with a black salamander. All costs are going to be factored into this. The cost of the black salamander itself, which currently is only 5 GP a cast. That's why people used to do this. It's very profitable. It just takes longer. So overall, you probably don't make as much money, but that's what we're here to test. We're going to simply do five runs with each setup. So without further ado, let's go. We will start with the trident and the mages, but it's worth noting that any prayer pots or karambwans used in this is going to get accounted into the price. So bear that in mind. Let's go. Now, this might be a little strange, but I've not got a range or a melee weapon, and that's because I'm going to be comparing a full trident run to a full salamander run. This might be a bit weird, and if people want to see it differently, let me know. But that means I will be maging Arim and maging the skeletons. Same for the salamander, I'll be using that on everything. So, let's go. So, as you can see, the timer is running. We're not going to be counting the cost of the lockpick or the uh, house tabs. It's just going to be the prayer pots and the karam ones. Now, to make this completely fair, if you want it done differently in the future let me know i can do another video i'm gonna be maging arms with, with a trident now this is weird but it does work it just is a bit obviously a bit weird but because we're using salamander versus trident objectively this is what we're doing or uh, it just wrecks it anyway and that means that for kill count as well we're also going to be using the trident charges now the only cost that's going to go into this are the trident casts themselves which are about 500 gp each the salamander cast itself, which is 5 GP each, and the use of prayer pots and karam ones. Now, I'm not going to be using my house to get any prayer back or anything like that. It's just going to be a straight, if I need to drink a prayer pot, I will drink a prayer pot. If I need to eat, I will eat, and that's completely fair. This is meant to show a full comparison of a black salamander versus a trident. It's worth noting as well, I'm not going to pray augury or mystic might. I'm just going to be using the protection prayer. Now, if you're not interested in watching the process of this, I'm going to try and do it pretty quickly, but you can skip to the end and there'll be all the stats there. It'll be the time taken for the five runs, the money spent for the five runs, and the profit made. Now, just for fun, I am going to put in the actual profit made from each activity, but in general, I am going to use a generic amount. So, for example, in five runs, you can expect to make this. So it's going to be more of a cost versus time thing. Chairs number one. So I am going to use the pool between kills and then go straight back. Let's crack on. I am just doing the standard one blood worm, two skeletons for these runs as well. Or two blood worms, one skeleton if that's how it works, how it pops up. I don't really care. <laughs> it's going to be one or the other. Two blood worms, one skeleton or two skeletons, one blood worm. Okay, chest number two. First Dursa prayer pot used, Darok tunnel. Gotta do what you gotta do. And chest number three. Chest number four. <laughs> We actually got an item. That's funny. Arim's staff, of course it is. In a, in like a mage off. In a mage off video, Arim's always got to get involved. What the hell? I'm going to get the hood next. You watch. Okay, and this is the final chest. Pause the timer. Oh my god, we actually got a back to back. What is going on? I'm never this lucky. Why aren't I this lucky in my series? <laughs> okay, so for five runs with the max mage trident set up, it took 18 minutes and 23 seconds, which is pretty quick. Pretty quick. Now we did get lucky and this is the loot that we got, but at the end that doesn't matter anyway. So now we're going to send a salamander run and then we're going to do a comparison of this because I love data and statistics. No idea why, it's just a guilty pleasure of mine. Okay, all the stats are down for the Max Mage Trident and now we're here with the salamander. Get off my spot, strange old man. Now speaking of strange, I do find it weird holding the salamander like this. It's very, um, strange. Let's start the timer now. Jeez, I can hit 24 with this and it's not a max hit. This is genuinely not that bad. Now, <laughs> I don't know what the max hit is, but I'm two minutes in and I'm nearly done a run. It's going much faster than I thought. 28 and it's not a max hit. Jeez. Well, it doesn't seem that bad, but let's see how the statistics pan out at the end. Now, we have got a Darox tunnel, so we are going to have to use a prayer pot already. Ooh, 29's the max hit. There you go. Okay, chest number one coming in at just over four minutes. Okay, the main problem so far with Salamander so far is definitely Arim, but at least the Salamander's got a range option to help out with that. Chest number two took a little bit longer. Number three. Okay, and chest number four at 1830. So we're basically a full chest behind after four. 
So after 20 minutes, we're at, we're at four chests basically, and the other one had five chests. Which is really not that bad to be honest, I didn't think we'd only be one kill behind. So we should be finishing this at around 22-23 minutes, let's find out. Okay, and the last chest, timer paused, 23 minutes 17, that's far better than I thought. You've also got to consider the Black Salamander is a 5 tick weapon, whereas the Trident's a 4. So if the Black Salamander is a 4 tick weapon, maybe it'd be just as good as the Trident of the Swamp, that's crazy. Anyways, let's get into some data. Before we get into the data, this is the Barrow's loot that we got from that. A lot lower, but again, at the end it won't matter. Now then, let's take a look at the data. So, first, the Max Mage Trident setup. We use 258 charges at a cost of 512 GP per charge, which is quite expensive. We also used one Prayer Potion Dose and ate two Karambwans, bringing the total cost to 136,105 GP. Now, our five kills took 18 minutes and 23 seconds, meaning that our average kill was three minutes, 40 seconds. Using this data, we can predict that we'd get about 16.3 kills per hour, which will round down to 16, and our cost for the hour would be about 435,536 GP. Now, let's look at the Max Mage Black Salamander setup to compare. We use 365 charges, which is more, but at only a cost of 5 GP a charge, which is very little. We use two prayer potion doses, but only at one Karambwan bringing the total cost to only 8,451 GP, that's under 10k. The 5 kills took 23 minutes 17 seconds, which is almost 5 minutes longer, meaning the average kill time was almost a minute longer at 4 minutes 39. Again, using this data, we can predict that we'd get 12.9 kills an hour, which will round up to 13. That means that we get about 3 less kills per hour with this setup than the Trident of the Swamp. A cost for the entire hour though would only be 21,972 GP, which is a lot smaller. Now we've gone over the direct statistics for 5 kills, let's examine them a little bit. The Trident setup cost per kill is 27,221, and the Salamander's cost per kill is only 1,690.2. That's a huge difference here if you account for a long term barrow session. If we add all of the loot up over 10 kills, we get 906,000 GP, so for us, we average 90,600 GP per chest. So, with all of this knowledge, what comes out on top? Uh, believe it or not, in this specific example, even with two barrows drops, the Salamander takes the lead. Now, the average loot in an hour for 16 kills, so the Trident setup, is 1,449,600 GP. And the average loot in an hour for 13 kills, which is the Black Salamander setup, is a lot lower at 1,177,800 GP. When you subtract the costs from these, the Trident takes some um, just over a million, and the Black Salamander takes some um, more than 1.15 million, which is 141,000 GP per hour more. So yes, at least in Max Mage gear, Black Salamander seems more profitable even accounting for opportunity cost and such. However, we did get two cheap Barrows items and we don't know the true average value of a Barrows chest, we're just using this as an example of 10 runs that I did. So before we go, let's work out the cutoff point for a Trident actually being better. At an average loot of 100,000 GP, the Black Salamander's still better by a profit of 114,000. At an average loot of 120,000 GP, so a bit higher, the Black Salamander's still in the lead by 54,000 GP profit an hour. And at an average loot of 140,000 GP per chest, the Trident of the Swamp takes it home with 6,000 GP more profit than the Salamander on average in an hour. The actual cutoff amount to make the Trident more profitable is 137,855 GP per Barrow's chest. So if you're getting more than that, it's better to use a Trident. If you're getting less than that, it's better to use a Salamander. Anyways. <laughs> Hope this video was kind of educational, kind of fun, bit of both. I've not really done anything like this so far. So let me know if you like it or not. I've got loads of things like this planned if you're interested. Thanks for watching. If you've got any suggestions for other content like this, or if you want me to do like a run with no armor to compare them with a normal Trident, Ibans, whatever, then we can do a full comparison later down the line. So love you and leave you. Thank you for watching. If you've not already, please subscribe. We're nearly at a thousand and I'll see you next time. Bye.